Why do we always assume there's a secret behind a waterfall? Near as I can gather, the earliest example of a waterfall in a video game with a cave hidden behind its mists is The Legend of Zelda, though it's hard to say for sure. And examples of this exist in fiction even earlier, dating back to Lord of the Rings and Journey to the West. The long-standing tradition of tucking secrets behind roaring rapids has even sparked the existence of a Twitter account dedicated to documenting which games do and do not have waterfall treasures. The at VG Waterfalls account is linked below if you fancy. However, I'm not so interested in the fact that there are secrets behind those falls so much as why we all know to check behind them in the first place. What's the psychology behind people's near universal understanding of this trope? Now, unlike most video game logic, there's actually a foothold in reality here. Places like Fern Cave National Wildlife Refuge in Alabama are vast cave systems nestled behind a waterfall. Though it's currently closed to the public, so I wasn't able to confirm if there are any treasure chests hidden inside. And besides, this waterfall didn't so much make a cave as it did create a new opening to an already extant one. See, while the bases of waterfalls will erode away at stone, creating a gap between the cliff face and the water, these tend to the side of shallow, flooded indentations instead of hidden secret bases. However, I doubt the majority of gamers are hydrologists, I'm certainly not. So it's far more likely, if boring, that our understanding of waterfall secrets in games is the result of a change reaction. In that Zelda, Lord of the Rings, what have you, became such popular and influential pieces of media that ideas from them bled into culture. For the purposes of this video, you could say that because one popular game had a waterfall secret behind it, other games took inspiration from that, and then more and more and more until it just became accepted gamer knowledge. Compiling and chipping away at the rock faces of our brains like I don't know, some kind of fast-moving water. This isn't enough of an answer for me, though. Saying it exists because it's popular doesn't explain how it so easily took hold of our collective gamer brain. There's an answer here that extends beyond the media side of things and to that of the humans. There hasn't been any research done into the psychology of why any gamer assumes that a waterfall must be hiding something, so I had to broaden my terms to find out what makes this phenomenon so common. And that led me to reading about conspiracy theories. Well, not about them, so much as about the people who believe in them. There's a common mentality of wanting to understand what happened in big, important, or unexplained events, needing to apply reason to what might actually be incredibly simple or even a fluke. There are people who can't possibly believe that we went to the moon just to have done it, just to learn about it. There must be a deeper meaning. That same logic can be applied to video game falls. Here's my thinking. Waterfalls aren't something that a lot of people will see in their average daily lives, unless you happen to live next to one or something. Sure, Zelda 1 had a standstill, motionless obelisk of fluid, but in the early era of 3D, the amount of polygons and laggy particle effects required to render a believable waterfall was tricky, to say the least. And the result is attention-grabbing. It's a big old splurge of sea that comes crashing down. It's loud, it's present, it's important. And I've concluded this may evoke a response in some people, who may think that if a game is going to go to all the trouble of having something as impressive looking and audible as a waterfall, there must be purpose behind it beyond simple set dressing. People like to recognize patterns, even if they aren't there. So once that inkling of a concept enters your brain paired with past media creating a precedent, it's hard to shake. Ooh, a waterfall! Why is that there? What are you hiding? And an easy way to suit that for the player is to give them cognitive closure. Let them discover that, yes, in fact, the waterfall was hiding something, and you were right for thinking it. Real life is often as simple as it appears. Not every big event has a mystery behind it. But in a video game, the devs are in control of how interesting and mysterious the world really is is. Because the alternative, if a fall really is just water for water's sake, is a lack of gratification on the player's behalf. The disappointment felt by players realizing there isn't a secret behind the waterfall is the driving force in perpetuating having a secret after all. If it was considered gauche or annoying to place a secret behind a waterfall, the majority of people would probably roll their eyes anytime this trope is used. Kind of like how mounted turret segments in games got tiresome quick and fell out of fashion. But since it's so satisfying to see a cool waterfall, explore it, and find treasure, and so disappointing if it turns out to just be decor, this bit of level design isn't going anywhere anytime soon. The reason we assume there's a secret behind the waterfall other than media precedent is because it's satisfying when there is, and boring when there isn't. Thanks for watching, stay safe, and take it easy.